A rare sight in state parliament today. Instead of 40 politicians debating over the bench, it was 40 youths, taking on the role of various cabinet ministers. Dressed in suits and ties, the Indigenous and Torres Strait Islander youngsters filled the Green Chamber. It really just gives us the strength to feel more that, you know, not just to help Indigenous people, but to help the Australia. The budding politicians debated issues, including raising the drinking age to 21 and revamping the education system. Queensland currently has no Indigenous representation in Parliament. It's a sad indictment on our country that we've had very few members in the Federal Parliament. Indigenous Youth Parliament is the first of its kind, bringing both Indigenous and Torres Strait Islander youths together in a bid to put their concerns and issues on Queensland Parliament's agenda. Many saying their biggest goal was to make a difference. We'll you know, serve to inspire a lot of young Indigenous youth and hopefully other Australians to close the gap on many issues. Bianca, a single mother of two, student and youth worker, believes it's been a long time coming. Especially knowing um, you know, the struggles and hardship that our you know, ancestors and forebears have had to struggle through just so that we can do this here today. There were also a few nerves before I had to, you know, uh, do my speech, my heart started, you know, bumping. The parents were as proud as punch. You know, I just wish my mum could have been here to see her sitting in Parliament. It's a great um, step forward for Indigenous people, especially our Indigenous youth. Some say they'll consider politics in the future. It'd be good to, um, yeah, get in there and really support Indigenous people. Fiona McCabe, QUT News.